morning. Am I interrupting? I was eating. Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Mmm. Very sharp. Sharp as a tack, as always, Agent. Uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, <laughs> so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. It's, um, it's VHS of the behind-the-scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me that- Jesus, you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. They're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like, uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? I'm not sure, but uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones are better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. Nah, I didn't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one seven. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's, it's giving off a glare and burns out the same. I told you, no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. <gasps> Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap, you freaking me. Holy shit, there it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear Dad, I... Dad, stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? That's it? Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. What else was I supposed to say? What happened in the end? What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. It's, uh, 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. That's weird. I, I swear this girl is meant to wear glasses or something. Like, things really close up. Unless that's kind of like the off-putting the game's doing. Like, things far away seem kind of blurry. And things close up just seem, like, better. Like, you can see there's font over there. However, on the books, like, you can't really tell the co like the front and whatnot. Like, the tops. Until you get, like, a little closer and then it's like, ding! It, like, a, kind of fades in or pops in. I don't know. All right, one one seven. Um. Oh, hold on. Someone needs to fix this toilet. Uh. Let's... Hold on. It's 
been a minute, okay? It's been a minute. Hold on. Polaroid, microphone, dynamo, run. That's what I was looking for. Open the map. That was a weird sound to come back to. Listen, I've watched enough Phantasmo and, and played enough that it's a poltergeist. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, so we're in the master suite. I forget how you zoom in. That's that's switching floors. Oh. One one seven is Oh. Yeah. Okay. So leave here, go there, go across the hall, and go to the right. Alright. Let me go with my 80s classical flashlight here. As I walk through the valley of this video game, I fear no evil, for thou shall make sound effects. You need to stop it. found the room. But? For someone barricaded it with an L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Real funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around somewhere, but uh, I don't remember where. Probably in the basement. Seems to me I've seen one in the garage. Or was it the generator room? I'll let you know. Of course. Let's go to the basement. That's upstairs. Boiler room or generator? Aren't they one and the same? Like, seriously. <sighs> okay. I'll just wing it. We're here. We're there. Maybe use those steps? Question mark? I think they got on stairs. Wait, no. Sorry. Wow, it's hoping to go downstairs, not upstairs. To my left, really. Really, right now with this shit.
You st Stop it. Hey, uh, found the screwdriver? No. The ghost hunters seem scared. I can't believe it. What a bunch of clowns. In Leonard's hotel. Here. Well, I can see why you're pissed. They must have shown up between deliveries. I can't stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God only knows why. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts or some bullshit like that. Well, I'm not superstitious, but if someone believes that a black cat is bad luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Huh? What are you talking about? Prayer, for example. F for me, a black cat crossing the road just means he's on his way somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> is that I'm your line? Maybe, no, I don't know. But that's the idea. Screwdriver. I'm out of here. I mean, let's just explore, I guess. Nope, wrong one. So this is the kitchen. Maybe. Listen, I need the light, damn it. Flakes. Start your day with a box. Shut up. Mmm, beans. Mm. Oh, we're missing some tools here. Well, I'm trying to pick up the picture. Well, let me. Why can't I? Okay. It won't let me observe the picture. This game would have been a lot better on PC. Just saying. 
Move around the keyboard and mouse, aim perfectly with the, with the mouse. Okay, so clearly it's not here, anything generator room, right? That would require going to, I'm guessing, generator room, because I don't see anything marked on here for generator room. I see electric room. Yeah, there's nothing for generator. I'm guessing electric is what they mean. So I need to go to the garage. That's not on the floor. And there is a toolbox, but... in the electric or laundry room. just stumble into. I don't even know what the hell this place is. I stumbled into the church. The church had an underground, like, Thing. Can't zoom in. This church is a bit creepy. Hey, how scotch. Why does it stop me from going faster than normal right there? Listen, I'm in explorer mode right now, okay? That makes me go back upstairs. you stop playing, like, Tetris or whatever the hell the game's doing? Okay, toolbox. If only there was, like, an open button, you know, so you could get a screwdriver out. Nah, don't make it too easy on us now.
found anything interesting? Leonard's motorcycle is one of those things that I should maybe take before the sale. Oh, I love bikes. What's the make? It's a Su 400 single cylinder two stroke. Wow. You seem to know what you're talking about. Leonard and I took it apart and put it back together like 200 times, I think. You okay. should keep Wait it to report as a keepsake. I spent oh. the last 10 years trying to eliminate every possible memory, and now I'm supposed to keep one that even requires me paying insurance? Well, doesn't sound so bad. Insurance on memories. I think I'll sell it to some collector. Uh, if you want, I know a few in Livingston. Oh, thanks. No sweat. I'm going. Later. random wind chimes. I feel very at peace with these wind chimes. And they're gone. Now we're just having a rant. I swear someone's in the attic. Surprise! How much do you know about those TV shows? The ones about haunted houses? I know they're popular. A lot of tourism revolves around them. Did the whole Rachel story really bring them here? Everyone in town knew about her suicide. Had a bit of gossip. Oh, so sad to see the place you grew up in go downhill. I know. I'm so sorry. Believe me. Ooh, VHSs. VHS recorder, VHS tape. I close the door. Fine. Parabolic microphone. Actually, better detail than phasmo uh, phasmophobia. There you go. Wait, I can equip it? Wait, that's... Hello, I'm communicating with the dead here. Are you here? You stop that. You stop that right now. Would you mind making your bed? I'm needing you to... Also, you've knocked over a lamp. The ghost is dialing 56k. They're communicating with AOL. Cigarettes. Before going in this random room, let's see what the VHS is all about. Have you calmed down yet? Quit playing dumbass jokes. What does that guy do all day? Who are you? 
mean the owner? Leonard, the freak? Uh-huh. I don't know. He's always locked up in the attic. You can hear him pacing up and down. Well, but it rest. We've got the whole hotel to do whatever we want. <laughs> Shut up a sec. There's that noise again in the headphones. Sounds like someone is talking to themselves. I see you smoking the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is that okay? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Did you see his face? He's missing a couple screws. <laughs> Sounds like a woman's voice. A girl. What the? I'll bet living alone in a place like this all winter, he can't help but go nuts. <laughs> so depressing. Danny, did you get rid of the interference? Fuck, I pay you to do your job, not jerk around. Fuck off, Stan. What do you think I'm doing? It's a mess here. Nothing's working. There's voices. Listen, Danny, cut the crap. I'm going to go have a sit, and if you don't figure it out by the time I'm done... Ah! What the fuck are you doing? I shot that thing! Well, you're not taking it. No, I mean for real! What? Huh? What the... No one's here, I'm telling you! What do you guys say? It looks more like a... Like a, a oh, my... Oh, my God! Really? Really? <laughs> Was there any more VHSs? I need just for shits and giggles, please. Oh, blow it out your ass. Give me a fucking break right now. Oh no. It must be beside me! Shut up. Oh, we can't keep this Polaroid. Wait, no, oh, I'm missing, yeah. Uh, there's a pair of someone's glasses, which you can barely see. Can we play it again? Oh, cost sheet. Hey, it's a bathroom. Is there any dirty water? That's where they they say that you know picking up this stuff will unlock certain things or do things. Uh, we have yet to see a single thing be unlocked. Quig it. To do list. I don't. I mean, maybe we use the microphone? <sighs> Fine. I like how it has a smiley face. Hello! Am I communicating with the undead? Let me guess, this thing's gonna make me go around this place for shits and giggles. Can you hear me now? Curving. Oh, uh, what did I do? 
It gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. Damn. Uh, what? I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Little, you should be. You're never going to believe it. Little spook. Little spook. I was like... For the love of Christ. All I wanted was a little bit more spooky. Come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. Yeah, day seven. Loading, you know. Are you gonna load? Like, holy shit. We've made ourselves at home, apparently. We've taken out the tree, we've done the trimmings, we've done the lights. What the actual hell? Here I am. Oh, you still there? God. Where else should I be? Um. Home? I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go! I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thanks, I guess. Thanks. You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. Um... You trying to tell me something? But... I... I don't get it. The music stopped. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well, I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To... You were wrong. Be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> mm, I thought you were a boy scout. Two days ago, I imagined you as a pimply kid from rescue services with a boy scout complex. Pimply? My skin is as smooth as a 12-year-old's. It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. You think? How are those lights? It's easier for me to believe box? in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm. I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Are you hitting on me? Irving? Are you hitting on me by any chance? Uh. No. <laughs> what are you. I mean, it's just. I... Relax. The I was snow kidding. stopped. <laughs> I can never tell when you're kidding. Yeah, it's one of my fascinating virtues. Same. Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Cutie pie. Huh? Oh, okay. You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon! Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. <sighs> Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the, the right other voice. time to reminisce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get it too. Yeah. <laughs> That's what there was in the end. Done. There was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... Uh, hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. There you have it. Here's the wind chime. These again. are my memories, and, uh... Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a clinking. Uh, no. I, I, I don't hear anything. It's the aliens. Wait there. I definitely heard something. Uh, okay. It's the aliens. The 
It's right in there. Wait, what just popped up? Oh, that's some matches. Okay, so what am I supposed to be doing? Oh, okay. So just, so just chasing the sound. That's completely gone now. You gonna make me do this, aren't you? Mother. Yeah. I, I was thinking about yeah. earlier when I said I was happy to have met you. Uh-huh. I, I just, I, I, I was trying to figure out how to tell you. I, I feel real close to you, Nikki. Uh, God, I hear myself talk. I sound like an idiot. Irving, I, I don't know what you're trying to say, but right now, I'm dealing with something else. I want to be there to help you. I'm just a useless voice on the mic. Believe me, right now, I would also like a little bit more presence. You know, uh, people get close in lots of ways. Please, shh a sec. I'm trying to listen to this noise. All right, I get that I might be overdoing it. Sorry, I'm a klutz, and, and sometimes it's... Irving, please, shut up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but let me figure this out. Where is this sound coming from? I don't hear anything. Anyway, um, later. Thanks. Don't call me again. Maybe we've been using the parabolic... Well, no, we haven't been using the parabolic mics at all. Listen! Listen, you're gonna have to try a lot harder to scare mother. Irving, you hear me? Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I was, uh, busy. Oh, uh, no problem. It's fine. What'd you want to tell me? Nothing. It's this microphone. Sometimes it captures... Sounds. What sounds? Whispers. It could be a draft in the crawl spaces. Hotel's full of them. Yeah, sure. Sorry. It didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and if you sense trouble, just let me know. Stop calling me. Go into the light, Barbara. No. Getting waker. Maybe here? Zip like. That was weird. It was like a bat. Let me in! You're gonna make me go to the goddamn attic, aren't you? Oh, that's not good. <sighs> Fine. Listen, I I can use this as like a skillet. I'll swear to God, I'll smack the shit out of you. Can't open that door. Can't 
Can't open that door. Now it's getting weaker. I I don't speak ghost. The hell do you want? I tried this one, we tried this one. I don't know, let's go this way. No, it's getting weaker. God damn it. Nope, that ass weak. It's right here! God. Mm. I can't open any of these doors. Is there like a higher level? Am I missing something? No, this takes me downstairs. I don't like this game anymore. Parabolic microphones are so shit. Oh, broken. Well, yes, I am broken. Oh, there's rings. Interesting. Okay, we've literally made... That's a rat. That's a little mouse. I, okay, I don't understand. You've literally made me go in a complete circle. Like we're losing the tinkling sound over here. Oh, wait. I swear this game just wants you to walk around in the darkness with this fucking microphone up. Oh. Shit. 
to you too. Okay, listen, that doesn't work on me, fam. You're gonna have to do more. Okay, we've checked this whole entire side. You can't be serious. Am I stuck? Am I... Am I stuck? Am I... Am I seriously stuck? I was seriously stuck. Ah, uh, you made me do this, aren't you? No, this is weaker. No. Oh. I'm leaving, bye. Okay, let's just go down. That's where the weather glass press me. This is a parabolic mic. <laughs> In case, you know, you were wondering. This is... About as useful as the one in Phasmophobia, okay? piano. Okay. Music sheet. Thank you, I needed that. I needed that in my life. Well, it's off the charts right here. And all of a sudden, we just open the door, and it's just dumb. Like, okay. Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I... I didn't hear you. You know, for a second, it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She... talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on her back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. This music's just... Fuck. It was the beginning of the end, and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> becoming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again, and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. Okay. I don't like games that don't give me something to do. Uh, 
I'm gonna look around and then go to bed. God damn it. How many days are in this game? <laughs> like, the only spooky part which makes you go, huh, which was the loud just him calling. That was it. <sighs> what the hell are we doing? Oh boy. Nani? Uh, I can't select any items. Okay. All right, we woke up in a nightmare, apparently. Wait, this is the church. Then why am I here in the middle of the night? Thank you very much for the bits. Why am I here? Are you going to preach me the Gospels? I swear to God, if you start preaching Gospel to me, we're done. Sleeping bag. Okay. Well, if only I had anything I could pull up. There's nothing I can do besides... What was I supposed to do? It was a lectern. Wait. I found Jesus! <laughs> he was in the dark all alone. Jesus, put your hands down. Stop it. Oh, follow the light. Okay. Well, I guess I needed Jesus to find the light. God, oh, this game, like, has fucking done down here. I don't take horror games serious at all. I really don't. It's my problem. I don't take religion serious either. Unsubscribe now. If you don't like religious jokes. Or truths. I'm going to assume this is a dream. Where the do I go? Just cast you randomly into the room. All by yourself. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! All right, Jesus. I need another sign, Jesus. Yeah, the picture I can't pick up. Listen, Jesus, if you could just give me a sign, I'd be appreciated. I don't know, I'll go back up to my bedroom since I have no light. Maybe it's one of those waking dreams where you hover above yourself while you're sleeping. I don't know. Or I'm dead. I was killed in my sleep. Master Suite. Look! Well, shit. There's literally, I have no objectives. There's nothing I can do. I can't hit a single button. I can't pull up anything. So, this is why I assume it's a dream. I, like, there's no, there's no objective. That's new. The boxes are out of the way. Let's go up to the hidden, dark attic with no flashlight. I'm pressing random buttons.
Wait, that was there all along? Really? Okay. I almost feel like I'm bugged again. We've already had that happen twice. Listen, unless Edward Scissor's hand. No. What was the guy from the movie? Nightmare on Elm Street. I forget his name. That guy. Unless he comes through the dream world and kills me now. Okay, I'm upstairs. What do you want? This is as high as I can go. Can I go through here? No, I guess of course not. Could have been the island. Could have been Bazaria instead. We have regret. <laughs> I just read that. God damn it. Uh, I mean, again, if you're gonna give me something, give me some objectives. Give me something. Look, we get to explore the house while in our sleep, and also the floorboard just healed. I don't know. Press the map button and it bugged out. Also, there's a. Oh. Uh... Welcome to the Indian Reservation. For Karen on Twitter, she has went to numerous places all over the world to advocate her traveling. Her traveling. I swear to God, we're bugged. Hello, my Cherokee brother. Oh no, spooky sounds. Really predictable, scary sounds. Where the game says go to the basement for no fucking point and purpose all right game all right fine we'll go to the basement in the creepy of n night we went to we went to master suite i don't know maybe one room 117 again This is room 112. 111. 117. What do you, what do you, what do you want? Like, seriously, what do you want from me? I really hope this is part of the gameplay, because... Actually, no, I don't. I hope we're bugged. I pray we're bugged right now. I really do.
don't know. I go back here. I I don't know. I know. Like I can pick shit up. I can interact with things on my dream. I'm again. I'm hypothesizing it's a fucking dream right now. Can I have some liquor in my dream? Shit, no. Okay. Decency override? What? Yes, that's what we call alcohol. Listen, your spooky shit doesn't work because I've realized I'm in the Matrix. Shut up. Wait, there's a fucking arcade down here? Why am I not down here playing video games? Oh my god, we have Street Warriors, Fury Road Survivors, Ping Pong, Mission to Mars, and I can't see anything else because it's too damn dark. Didn't even know this place existed. Look, it's a floppy. It's from, yeah. <sighs> okay. I'm going to hypothesize we're burnt. We have no objectives, no interactives, no maps, no nothing. We have nothing. And again, this wouldn't be the first time this happened, so, you know, that's... back to this. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, so this is a part of the game. We wake up in the church. It's just a bit weird. I mean, I'll try and f figure this out on my own, apparently, because... The point is, is we just don't know where the hell we're going. You know, this is a corner you can't walk into and do nothing on. It's just like, give me an objection, give me something, you know? Give me something, anything to do. Retracing my steps. I already went that way. Guess I'll go this way. Okay. 
Anyway, all right. You want some? You want some beans? Interesting, I can't open the freezer. That's new. I went upstairs. I went through the attic. I went through the museum. I went through the church. I went through the kitchen. I went through the washer and dryer. I went through the boiler. I don't have a map. The only place I haven't gone is the garage. Literally, I've went everywhere else except for like the places around garage. The fact that those doors close behind you every time is just stupid. Well, oh, there's the game corner, okay. I just have to kind of remember where the fucking garage is. Uh, I guess try this way? This is back to the fucking church. We learned that. That's upstairs. That's the laundry. I know there's like some small alcove that leads you back to the garage. Where the fuck is the garage? I'm getting actually tilted now. I think this is in. I am correct. Hello, garage. Yeah, mom's car, okay. Leonard's motorcycle. You can just call him dad, you know. Circuit breakers. I've been to every fucking room. I've been to every fucking room. This is where I'm stumped. Can't push. Can't lift. There. There's nothing I can do besides zoom in. Give me a hint. For the love of Christ. This is like someone putting a solved Rubik's Cube in front of you and going solve it. But it's already solved. Solve it again. Look, I get to go in circles. Yay! There's the kitchen. Mm. 
there's all the way back here to the singing shed. I've already been back here. You know, the regrets, the drinks, yeah. yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. Hi. Oh, are you gonna sing? Are you gonna sing for me? Oh, that was really scary. Man, I got scared for all of non-existent time. Wait, what was that? Can I break it? See if it, like, releases some curse. I mean, I've already been through here and checked all these doors. No. 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 Can't go through here. Riveting shit. Riveting. My apologies on this game not giving any instruction whatsoever. My apologies. Regrets were made. Back to the museum. I know why Rachel Foster committed suicide now. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell for that one. Plot twist, I'm already in hell. I've already been there. I wonder if there's a Rachel Foster who actually exists. We need to Facebook this. We have already been upstairs. just a door to a bathroom. You're not even spooking me at this point. This game has gone beyond spooking to like just annoyance. Like I'm serious, it's gone to annoyance.
Like, this is evidence. There's no point to observe it. I think I may have to resort to Google. We may have to resort to Google, fam. Because we already did this. I'm just doing it again for shits and giggles. This is about the only place I actually haven't checked on the, on the lookout. I'm just kind of like looking out here and being like, ooh. But then we've gone downstairs, so this is this area again, it's the ballroom. And congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. We have legitimately went around a complete 360 every single floor in this house. Like, the only thing that this game is continually trying to do is noise scares. And as soon as I walk through those doors, I close. There. Get, get in the hole, said the man to the penis. Like, I know it's cleaner, there's no point in checking those. What am I supposed to be doing? I've went around this house with a fine tooth comb. I'm having a Irving? fucking stroke. Merry Christmas, Nikki. I'm done. Ho ho ho. <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to. Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I I don't think so. No. What happened? I think. I sleepwalked. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No! Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do that. Oh, uh... Irving? Yeah? Thanks. I like Nikki. Who the hell's Merry Nikki? Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nikki. Oh, that's her name. Well, so you're telling me we're gonna go out to the church in the middle of the night because she was sleepwalking, even though I literally just came back from the church because she was sleepwalking. I was technically half correct with the fact of the matter of her sleepwalking, and I thought we were currently asleep. Oh, for the love of Christ. So we were either bugged out the first time, or as we come into the room, which I thought, okay. I was like, yeah, we wakey. We wakey and bakey. Okay, let's... Really? 
Now we've got like a consistent church bell going on right now. Okay. I, what? I tried to pull out a map. Give me the map. I have to go back to the church. Don't want to, really, but sleepwalking must be a sign. Oh. I'm trying to remember. So pretty much just go to the basement, the boiler room. I don't even have to look at the map for that. Alright, let's just go. Listen, I now have this place, like, memorized. From walking around aimlessly like a dumbass! Oh wait, hold on, now that I have a flashlight. Go to the game room. Oh, they got darts? Too bad some of this shit doesn't uh, work. Like you could have a game inside of a game. What do you want? Uh, hi. Uh, I, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. Uh, let's roll out Divine Calling. So you're excluding the idea that I received our Lord's Calling in the dream? <laughs> I never thought about that. Sister Nicole doesn't sound bad at all, though. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. Correct. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. Have to wait. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. That's what I thought. Because if you accidentally are talking about one thing and you go into a room and start talking about something else, one, they overlap in this game. Oh, the church music is starting! Even though I've literally already stumbled on the church before the sleepwalking to the church, but for whatever reason, we're gonna discover something new. Well, that wasn't here before. The good book. Nikki? When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> What kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets. But he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like... 
Down, down the, the stairs, stairs watch, watch your step. step. Don't fall, fall apart, apart or it's your ground. end. Round, round a corner, corner, turn around. Ground. There's your, your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open to if you see beyond, looks. beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? How it's... I... I... Wow. A total mystery. Want to play? Uh, I... Yes, I Can need I to think no? about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll I'll call you if anything comes to mind. Ahem, I'm glad you're all gathered here today. Let us read from the good book. Judge not lest ye be judged. For it is the purpose of only God to judge thy people, and not judge one another. Amen. That is all. That is all I'd like to teach you. Hmm, I can't read this. Jesus Christ, it's too fucking dark. If I solve the riddle, I could find the old storage room. Oh, for the love of Christ. Look, well, guys, we get to go on another, you know, peekaboo. This game is seriously all about exploring your damn house. Okay, it's a down the steps. Hopscotch. Now you have to be extra detailed. I fucking knew it. I knew there was something up with that corner. I knew there was something up with that goddamn corner. I knew there was something up with that corner. And I kept going into that corner. I made twice just on this stream alone. This was not there before, by the way. That wood plaque was not there before. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, could you actually climb in the fucking thing or Someone was here. Well, that's kind of a given. Oh, shit. God, that's so, old school. Found the mystery decorations? No, no. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I. It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you see. Okay. I... Uh, there's some windows drawn on the walls. Yeah. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's like a kid's room. No way. Can we turn this into a meme? This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. Karen, you're a... Mickey. I think you should get out of there now. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a red emergency, so they'll have to... Jesus Christ, Irving! What? 
This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. You can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I bet it is. I need to figure out what's going on here. Like, I, I, I play too much Among Us. I, he's super sus. He's super sus. Karen, you're up. Okay, so there's Rachel's book. It's the speech therapy manual. Teach me to talk. Well, unfortunately, these books don't always work. And unfortunately, trying to teach my brother to talk, and it just doesn't work. That is super, like, creepy, though. Like, painting someone's room. Okay, so pick up this key. Someone did a post-it note called Breadcrumb. Really? Hey, can you hear me? Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No. I found a key. It's from my old music box. The one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think, someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. You're literally naming the post-it note breadcrumb, let's be honest right now. And there's a retainer box. Yes. What do you want now? Nicole, listen. I already know what you're gonna say, but please trust me. Get out of there. You're not helping. Please, you're not helping. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a... more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this... We'll figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen. A bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years, and now this! All good reasons to get out of there. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true, you realize what that means. What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father... He spent years in there. In total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel in his conscience. He he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. You're joking, right? You think he did this? Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted even more, but in his eyes... How dare you! My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old, but f fucking hell, don't you dare even think that. I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and... I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that... If you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. I barely had a choice for that selection. Okay, so we did our retainer. So... That's weird, because there was an option for the vent to call about that. And we can't. I guess she got so tilted that she's like, screw it. 
as I believe the instructions are going to say the key I found belongs in Leonard's room, I'm going to open it, open it, open it. Mmm, you sound logical going open, open, open about 57 different times. Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay. Let me I piece things together. I hate this flashlight. I hate it. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. Some people think she didn't commit suicide. And some even think she's still alive. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then, the lipstick from ten years ago turns up still good. And then, my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide, no timberline money. No, no, no. No, I'm just being paranoid. I go the wrong way. And then I did. there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. Okay. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Do, do. Wait, hold on. It's in the other room, isn't it? It should be right here. Small metal. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Missoula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage, that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. The voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with the suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? Save me. Game is... When it delves into the story, cool. When there's puzzles and scary stuff, cool. But when you're just roaming a, a giant hotel aimlessly, it's... Mm. Oh, we're gonna go through the sealed door, you say? Oh, okay. Irving. Finally. I know, I told you to go to hell. I was dying on this chair. I bet you were. I was freaked out. You're right. That room freaked me out. So, 
I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of the story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It... it all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. Oh, so we're not going through here, okay. So... A storeroom? I better take a look in the mezzanine, in the middle. The better things find their proper position. Oh look, it's snowing once again. Go back. Oh, scary sounds, scary. Oh, spooky, scary skeletons. <sighs> the hell are the instructions? Like, I know what they are, but... I better take a look at the mezzanine. In the middle, the th better things find their proper position. Goddamn fucking riddles. Oh, spooky! Shut up. Okay, so we're back on the master suite, right? It's also daytime, shouldn't need the flashlight. They're trying really hard with these fucking sound effects. So, once you go down the steps, right? Oh, this automatically moves to the next floor. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, we're in the hall. So, mezzanine is under us, I believe. Just checking. Ah! Oh, look at that. I'm so surprised. Oh, okay. Yeah, this shit didn't just go from one to creepy. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. You have a hockey stick with a mannequin with... With a baby.
Not creepy at all. Not creepy at all. Okay. Irving? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. There's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? But why my hockey stick? Hello? Hello? Oh god, why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. And before he just randomly comes on the calm. Why don't you take the hockey stick and use it as a weapon? Is that supposed to scare me? Where are you, Nicole? It's about time. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What? Are you... are you drunk? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving? Um... I told you there was something off about that man. Irving, what are you doing? What's hiding behind second floor sealed door? Uh, do we go back up then? Question mark? Is it this way or this way? I don't fucking know. No, it's the other way. And before he's secretly a serial killer and he's here to kill me. Yeah, okay. Someone unlocked the door. Probably his dumbass. Welcome to Silent Hill! This man has been here the whole entire time, hasn't he? Transmissions, evidence, evidence, our engine. How many days has this man been sitting here and waiting, apparently? Yeesh. Imagine you found my room. What? What does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. 
a photo, a hairband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins, you, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I... We did it for years, day after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out, finally. What do you want to do now? I want to tell you a story. Okay. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. But his father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made of silence and prayer that shone only one star. His... wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her for real. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much. Goddamn 56 And it would bullshit. be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was... your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that... confined horizon of events. As you'll understand. As you've already begun to understand.
I want to know what you want from me. You have to keep going to get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. You owe it to us. And you owe it to her. Uh, Nani? Oh, he already knew of the secret room. Huh. Okay. Oh, lure me up to a creepy attic. This will be fun. the can, I can't observe it. Also, it's a pawn in a chess piece. Rachel. Cigarettes, journal. Like I said, I hate these clocks. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied, we listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, 
even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. There is light in death. I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So, how are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good. Figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. She's here. Got murder. Okay, we've got keys. Rachel, Leonard, Leonard. Rachel Leonard. Oh, so she play him in chase. Inside Claire's car. I'm so confused. I have to go to the garage now. Y'all are irking the shit out of me. I don't think I can climb over this, can I? Nah, that'd be too easy. I swear, if I shave again and the razor rips my mustache hair instead of cutting it, I'm, I will kill. Uh, it sounds like you have a doll blade, my friend. Plays with way. Sounds like you have a shitty racer. Listen, this shit doesn't work on me, okay? I'm sorry, is the paint peeling? No, that would have worked on me. What? Hello. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't... I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth. A truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Oh, for the love Listen, of Christ. I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her, and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. Right. Betrayal. Shame. Death. My family was destroyed. I come down Just like yours. How much longer does this pain I have to last? Down. It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us, and you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. What's the church? You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. What does that even mean, dog? What does that even fucking mean? This game is so confusing. Must 
sell this razor fair and square before I quit. I mean, maybe that's why. Someone knew you'd steal it, so they sabotaged it. It's gonna be the death of me. Okay. So this is mom's car. This is my car. Oh. I, I couldn't see what the hell we were getting. It's a blanket. Pack rat. Listen, I don't understand. What's in this blanket? Wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it. Okay, this girl's losing her mind, apparently. So I need to go back out and do laundry now. No key. This 80s flashlight, I'm gonna be so glad to get rid of. Ah, that's the church. Looking for laundry. Okay. Do I have to hand pick a certain washing machine? Oh, no. Okay, use the sink. Okay. Why am I washing this again? Okay, it's her retainer. Alright. Oh. It looks a little, even though that's not how blood works, once it dries and sets in, but. How would you know that look? I'm shut up, shut up, there's reasons. How could I have forgotten? I... I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family, you and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. I don't understand. And then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. 
She'd cleaned it. Go on. No. I... I don't... Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... <laughs> then, dear mom killed her. Okay. I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled in the blanket. God, oh my God. She killed Rachel. Thank you, Nikki. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. But she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is... is here? You know, I... I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now... we can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. You're the only one left. Don't leave me here alone. I'm scared. It's wide as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountains. You... You left the hotel? But it's too cold. You'll... You'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can... and go back... to her. Don't... don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my... tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again. In another time. Beyond this... Horizon of events. Everything is. Irving? Irving? I, I don't want to stay alone here. I. I. Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm. Rachel? Is that you?
I'm in a car. Answer the goddamn phone! Hello? Yes? If all it's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally I can get through. You don't know how many times I've tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you got- Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch you. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh well, I see. Well, you're the owner, and you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. This kind of decision... I'm back home, and I have to stay here forever. Wait a sec, let's talk. And there's also my fee. I'm so confused. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. What? But they're always there. I, I'm so you feel confused. Like I would so like it. I'm so confused. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's Diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us. What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. I... Okay, use the gear. It's the only thing we can do. Wait, wait. I did all that you asked me. Please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. You said that. I'm scared. What in the hell is going on? You... I... I don't want to die. Oh. It's getting dark. <coughs> I can't see the light. Her car was rigged. I'll stay here with you, Daddy. Mom, we'll bring back the Timberline to its fortune together. We will be happy again, all together. Yes, like a whole family. No more anger, 